Welcome back, you filthy exiles. So, uh, in the interest of the new 3.13 league and to get some build planning underway, I have decided to put together a video on a classic approach to the Slayer. Um, mainly because uh, all this build is essentially, or the build that I'm, I'm putting together here is essentially going to be SSF compatibility. And um, also, no cluster jewels in this build, which makes it even simpler and easier to gear into the end game. And the other thing is Cyclone is more or less the most powerful melee skill every league and they've never been able to fully nerf it and I would say that this change to the Slayer is only going to make it more powerful. So first of all, what changes are we, go are we looking at with the Slayer? Well, first of all, the, for the nodes that we're using, uh, Brutal Fervor no longer grants uh, a so, yeah, no longer grants additional attack speed or damage while leeching. But what it now does is give you 100% um, leech, increased maximum leech recovery rate, and uh, also 10% reduced damage. So that's pretty cool. Now it's also being switched with endless hunger so you can get access to that leech earlier. So you can basically take that straight away and start doing the 100% leech. Now you're going to want endless hunger as well. That's going to do, I believe, 20% increased attack speed while leeching uh, with, overkill, uh, with overkill damage is leached as life as well and unaffected by bleed. So these are coming in, these are getting converted around. So basically that's going to give you a fair crack of leech again and it stops you from being stun locked as well. So that's good on any cyclone build. Um, the next thing is Overwhelm. So Overwhelm's base crit chance on weapons is going up to 8% from 7.5%. So again, that's going to give you a, a nice healthy buff to your attack damage. And then Impact is actually getting a plus 2 to melee strike range, which for Cyclone is much, much more powerful. Now as a baseline, this is quite a good, um, quite a good ascendancy skill to use anyway for AoE based skills and gives you that increased accuracy to get your hit chance up to 100%. Basically, we're what? Uh, we basically have resolute technique with this build. It's quite good. So anyway, uh, mechanics of this particular Cyclone build. Now, first thing to note, 12.6 uh, million DPS. This is ripped down gear as well. So there are end game gearing options in this build or in this tree. Uh, but for the purpose of argument, I've taken away things like the Bottled Faith. I've taken away the Transcendence of Flesh. I've taken away the Watcher's Eye with the Precision Crit roll and also the Pride and Pale uh, roll. Uh, and I've also, uh, you know, that's pretty much all I've needed to take away out of this build. Now, a few other things to note, and you'll see it in the POB because I'll put this link in the description for you to follow. A few other things to note is, yes, the gloves have Culling Strike. Uh, now, you can do that on Elder Gloves. You can also do it on Warlord gloves, gloves, which I've done in the past and self-crafted. I would suggest doing it on Warlord's gloves and you're going to need a base level of 85 plus uh, to do that as well. Uh, if you can get 86s with the Elder or a uh, Warlord influence, that's the easiest way to craft that. Uh, Despot Axe, now you could do this with a Flesh Ripper Axe as well. Crafting these is not too difficult, you're basically just going to keep slamming Jagged Fossils on, on the Axe until you get what you want. You want to get to about 30% minimum, uh, this one in particular is 45%. But if you can get 30%, that's plenty to uh, start the process. Now, um, and you can easily get up to about 500 to 700 DPS. And you won't get up to 12.7 million DPS on your, on your Cyclone unless you get an axe like this. But you can make a pretty good axe and you'll only lose a few million, uh, you know, maybe 2 million DPS on this. Um, so the other thing is the helm, basically life, resistance, fortify rolls. Now, please take note too, there's a new helm that's coming in the league uh, that does put a You Are Crushed um, implicit modifier on you, but it does buff up Fortify by default for you. So you can avoid you having to use this helm or craft a helm like this by just simply using that base type from the uh, the Ritual League. Uh, Astral Plate, Explodey Chest, not much to note there. Explodey Chest is Explodey Chest. Um, we're all probably going to go and get one of those if we play Cyclone anyway. That's where your, uh, your hefty da damage is going to come in to do AoE. Uh, spike, uh, b -b 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 spike gloves, I think we covered off on that. Sure, we may not have. Uh, so yeah, culling strike. Uh, go for a warlord's item, uh, craft it on there. Just you do it with alteration orbs, pretty easy stuff. Uh, you want 85 to level eight, eye level 85 to 86. 
Uh, Two-tone boots, you're not going to get Tailwind, uh, but everything else is craftable, so that's not unreasonable. Um, your amulet. Now, you're pretty much going to be rolling uh, Crit Strike Multi and Physical Damage to Attacks. It's the two big things you want, and also Life. Um, that's a big one there, uh, and you can self-craft that, that's easy enough to do. Um, now steel rings, the big thing here is life, physical damage to attacks uh, as an additional roll, and then one rig needs to have vulnerability on hit, uh, that's going to give you the ability to curse enemies as you cyclone through. The second ring, pretty much the same, uh, and making up any other gapages in the build at that stage. Um, so, Stygian Vise, now this one is a 10% increased life roll, um, you're not going to get that early league or even mid league or even most players don't get that end game, that's a crazy item. Um, you can take away that 10% and get a good health roll and then all resist and then still craft on the damage, that's perfectly doable. Um, so don't get hung up if you can't get the 10% increased life roll, um, that's not the end of the world. Um, now, Murderous Eye, this is in the belt, and this is just increased physical damage to attacks and buffing up uh, life and axe attacks, pretty simple stuff. The same with this one here, basically just crit strike multi for two enemy melee, and uh, more crit strike multi, and corrupted blood. So you can do Cyrus farming. So anyway, from a tank ability stance, uh, plenty of leech, we've got over leech on this, everything else. Now, the other question you might be asking is where does all the damage come from? Well, two main things. First of all, you'll note that the amulet has this uh, panopticon um, enchant on it. This is because it increases your ancestor totems buffs by 50%. So, when you take away the ancestor totems, that cranks your uh, DPS down. Now, that being said, 6.9 million DPS is still good. Now, if you change the accent, you'll get about 5 million DPS. Um, still very good. Uh, but... If you're running Ancestor Totems, 12.697 million DPS. And basically all you're gonna do is map Ancestor Totems to Q and W, drop them when you go into a boss fight straight away, and then basically spin to win. Um, very easy stuff, straightforward, nothing complicated about it. Uh, the other thing is you're going to be using um, Consumes Rage. Yeah, okay. So, this build I originally adopted from a uh, from a Berserker class, so we're not actually going to use Berserk, you don't need that, uh, but Leap Slam, Blood Magic, and Endurance Charges on Melee Stun, it's going to be pretty good to get around maps. Uh, Enduring Cry and Blood Rage, so you're going to want both of those because they're good, and Enduring Cry is going to synergize with your um, Call to Arms node down here, and we'll go through this tree very shortly. Basically, you're going to map that to your uh, to your left click. So when you run, you call call to arms straight away without any cast time, and just continue to drop uh, an enduring cry every five second, every every time it recharges. So you perpetually maintain maximum endurance charges, which is going to increase your resistances, and it's going to increase your um, your health regeneration and whatnot too, and damage reduction. Um, so the other thing, uh, so uh, for your uh, you're going to be running Precision, Pride, uh, Flesh and Stone, Dread Banner, and Blood and Sand. Pretty standard stuff for a melee cyclone build. Um, as far as your Ancestral War Totems, you're going to be running Ancestral War Chief and Protector because it gives you attack speed and attack damage. Uh, and then you're going to be running Maim because you want them to Maim and multiple totems. Uh, and finally, and this is why this build is so simple, you're just going to be running Cyclone. Um, and then from there, you're just going to be running Fortify, Awaken Brutality, or you'll be running Brutality. Um, and in fact, we'll retool this tree as we talk about it. So, Brutality, uh, Infused Channeling, Impale, obviously being a uh, Slayer, Cyclone, and Melee Physical Damage. Uh, and we'll just wind that down slightly so we lose a little bit of damage there, but it's all good. It's playable that way. And we'll drop that down to 20 and take that down to 22. So we get 11.6 million DPS uh, when we go for boss killing. Uh, so yeah, pretty straightforward build. Uh, infused channeling, you're obviously going to use that because it gives you increased damage while you channel and it also gives you damage reduction as well, which is what you want when you're playing a cyclone character. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, tree-wise, uh, pretty much in league, 
you're going to start on these nodes here. Now attack rate's 25.3, so you've got a pretty, pretty fast bloody attack rate too. Um, so you're going to be going, coming down with these physical damage nodes. Pick up Master of the Arena, uh, pick up Bravery, uh, Art of the Gladiator. Then you're going to come down, you're going to come and pick up these nodes down here and go and harvest the foes. You want Swift Skewering, you want Brinksmanship. And then you want to come down and pick up all of these nodes down here, down to Fella of Foes. Then as you level up, you're going to come up, you're going to pick up Splitting Strikes, you're going to pick up Bloodless. Now at any time you can pick up Solar Steel, but I wouldn't do this until later in the um, later in the piece. Now this is a level 100 tree as well, so bear in mind some of these you're not going to get all these nodes. Depending on if you level up to 91 or so, you're going to have to pick and choose what you want, depending on what you need. Uh, Harpooner, you're going to pick up... Uh, uh, juggernaut um, you can omit this for now um, and if you want to put in more skill gems you can um, you're going to pick up barbarism and you definitely want to have these disemboweling nodes because this is going to buff your crit strike up significantly then you come back up now you'll come back up and depending on where you are you will want to pick up these nodes up here now these berserking nodes you don't really need uh, but they do give you a good chunk of DPS, so really up to you. If you want the attack speed, you can take it, um, but yeah, up to you. Then you'll pick up all of your health nodes in your constitution cluster, and then you'll come up and you'll finish up up here. Now, at any time, you can drop off these extra nodes that sit on the edges of the tree, and if you have don't have the cluster jewels yet, then you can drop those off to save on points, because this is a max spec tree. Um, you'll also want one node in this two, um, two head of melee leech cluster. Now you could go martial experience. The other thing you could do is put an intuitive leap here so then you can pick up the martial experience node itself and you could also pick up berserking which is something that I would actually do um, because that's going to give you two less points to allocate here, two less points to allocate here with one point here. Move this node over to here and that's also going to increase your damage by how much? 194,000 DPS, um, or combined damage actually, 560,000 DPS. So I would actually use an intuitive leap gem here um, to pick up these two nodes. And in fact, I'll do that in the final tree for you uh, so you can reallocate that uh, as you go. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's basically the Slayer uh, tree set out um, and the build that I potentially am gonna play this league. I'll either do this or I'll play the Berserker. I'm not too sure. But I think Slayers, this league's going to be good for, in particular, boss killing. Now, if you do find that you're not killing bosses soon enough, you could go Bane of Legends, which I don't think they have done anything with this league, and that's going to give, uh, basically, Cull at 20% health, which is pretty powerful. But yeah, anyway, um, now, with the Berserker Tree, and I'll put this in the POV as well, I didn't actually touch this. Um, this was from another player in the league, funnily enough called motherfucking berserker and i'll put a link to his uh, character build up in that uh, up, up up to his poe.ninja um, link as well basically you get 25 million dps with this one now this one's a little bit more tedious this is actually taking away the crazy shit as well the berserker tends to be incredibly powerful with um <laughs> with this sort of uh, tree as well. So uh, yeah, you could go the Slayer route. The Slayer's going to get a good buff and it's going to have a lot of sustainability. Or you could go complete ham and play the Berserker. Now I'm torn between the two because they both do really good DPS. Um, the Berserker does more DPS um, but at the expense of being much less uh, survivable if that's the right word to use. Uh, but I'll put both trees in and I'll credit motherfucking Berserker as well because he's done a pretty good job with this tree and the gearing options on this too. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to run this build, uh, and again, you could switch this out and play Intuitive Leap and save yourself um, you know, two nodes here too. Um, but yeah, uh, and, and I'll actually do that for, for you in this build and move it around. Um, anyway, uh, until next time, uh, like and sub if this build gets you thinking about what you want to play. Now there will be a build curation video I'll put up once the patch notes come out because I really need to see what the hell's going on with a lot of the changes that are coming into this league. But uh, until next time, uh, have a good one and bye.